Sun, sea and sand, the Aquacross Championship has landed on the Great Lakes. Welcome to Michigan City, Indiana, where the race of the Bahamas is very much on. 30 of the world's fittest and fastest athletes have arrived for round three in the series, and the competition to reach those world finals in November in the Bahamas is reaching fever pitch. We've swapped the salt water and sand of the Gulf of Mexico for the fast, flat, smooth water this morning here on Lake Michigan. And I tell you what, if we get action this weekend that is even half as good as what we saw last time out in St. Pete Beach, then we're in for a treat. Well, incredible racing there at St. Pete Beach, and the three races gave us three different winners. Table topper Brian Baldwin took one of those wins. Eric Francis, the man who's hot on his heels, took the other. And with his debut win on the Pro Enduro Tour, Christian Daly proved that the young guns aren't going to let the veterans have it all their own way. First of three races that are soon to get underway. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. Um, the conditions look very similar to St. Pete. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting after it today. Yeah, and cast your mind back to St. Pete. How was that podium for you there? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, first off, it was just great getting a win. You know, that's just that taste in your mouth is awesome. And yeah. although it wasn't an overall, it's for me, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, and to get a podium uh, up against you know some of those top, you know, the best guys out there, it just it felt really good. And now all eyes are on the race to the Bahamas. We've got this weekend, and then Pensacola, and then it's the World Finals in November. Have you got your eyes on that one yet? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, for me, I go, you know, one step at a time. I mean, obviously, I got my eyes on that, but um, for me, it's all about the process of, um, you know, taking a race, you know, each race, you know, one step at a time. So, uh, you know, the Bahamas is going to be an awesome race. Uh, I think it's great what P1 has done. I mean, I think it's going to be a great event. Um, but for me, you know, I'm just going to focus on today and uh, really uh, go after it. Well, one rider who's no stranger to jet ski racing because he's been doing it for literally years is number 243, Dennis Mack. But this season, as far as aquacross is concerned, he's really turned it on. And that podium surely is only just a race away. Matt, great to see you here this morning. We're on the banks of Lake Michigan in Michigan City. You know this area well. You used to race here quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. We're excited to be back here at this beautiful lake and a beautiful venue. It's an awesome place. The weather's beautiful. We couldn't ask for a better place to have a jet ski race. And as we stand here this morning looking out, you're about to go racing. It's flat calm, but it's not normally like this, is it? No, it's definitely um, out of the ordinary to be this flat, but this one is definitely one lake that'll pick up real quick. And um, you never know, by the end of the race, it could be two to threes, and by the next race, even fives. So, or it could stay flat all day. So roll the dice of what to run and what ski to run, for sure. And you're feeling in good shape coming into this one. You've really sort of switched on this season. Uh, yes, sir, definitely. We're trying to keep stepping forward every race, and we're looking for a podium, and we're going to find it eventually. And uh, the other thing that all eyes are on this weekend, a lot of people are talking about, is the race to the Bahamas. We're here, we've got Pensacola, then we'll be there. You got one eye on that one? Yeah, definitely. We're um, super excited to be going to the Bahamas and hopefully we get to be one of the ones chosen to be coming from the U.S. Um, I think points wise we're there, so we just got to put together a solid weekend this weekend and let it play it forward. Well, arguably the most consistent rider over the weekend was Sophie Francis, who powered her way to fourth place overall. Sophie, great to see you here this weekend at Lake Michigan. Cast your mind back to St. Pete Beach, fourth overall. That was a superb weekend for you. 
Yeah, I'm so happy with fourth. You know, it's, it's been good every weekend, every race. You know, I've been getting better and better, and um, fourth was really good for me. You're the only female rider in the top ten. You're beating a lot of these male guys who've been around a long time, and I'm pretty sure that that's coming down to your overall level of fitness, which I know you're working on outside of the race weekends. Yeah, I'm up at 3.30 in the morning at the gym by 4.30, and I'm training until 8, then I go to work for a few hours, and then I'm training at 1 till 6 in the evening, so it's, it's intense. But it's helping me out here, you know, I'm starting to step up now and trying to crush them boys. Yeah, and also as well, you're looking after the fitness on your side, but you've got Eric in the corner as well, I'm sure he's giving you loads of tips when it comes to the racing itself. Yeah, he does, he knows a lot, he's um, very experienced, so he gives me advice and tells me what to do, and he gives me a prep talk before the race, telling me what to do and my lines and everything, so it helps a lot. And uh, just quickly thinking ahead to the race to the Bahamas, it's all about the World Finals in November. Yourself and Eric will be looking to put yourself a spot on that one, surely. Oh, we're excited, we're pushing and pushing, and we're both going to get there. Well, the race in the Bahamas certainly has added a whole new level of competition this season. And here to tell us a little more is Lisa Barsby. I mean, it's a great location, stacks of people on the beach. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the championship's heating up. It's, it's great. We also take them from the world rankings. So we have a big uh, world rankings where all the points from all the championships are put together. And so the top 10 of those will automatically score when we recalculate that in September. And then we'll be taking the top five from the European championships, the top three from the UK, and we'll be taking um, the top 10 from, from the US. The race to the Bahamas is a transatlantic battle with riders from all across Europe fighting it out to book themselves a place in the world finals where they'll be lining up alongside their US counterparts. Well, great action from Europe there, and all of those guys will be doing their best to put themselves a spot in the Bahamas in November at the World Finals. And one man who knows exactly about all of the US riders and what they'll be doing to get there is this guy, Mikey Young. Mikey, good to see you. Kev, good to see you. Great to be up here in the Great Lakes. Uh, man, I tell you, it doesn't get any more beautiful <laughs> than this. How about it? And this weekend, all of these guys here in the US are fighting out with the European guys to book one of the 40 places going to the Race to the Bahamas. That's right, Race to the Bahamas, top 40 going in the world. Uh, here this weekend, uh, points leader coming into the weekend, Brian Baldwin, mm -hmm. he's going to be the one with the bullseye on his back, but check out the dark horses, man. I like Christian yeah. Daly, the young gun, Dennis Mack, who has uh, really made a resurgence this year. Yeah, and what about the other half of uh, Eric Francis, Sophie Francis, keeping herself so fit in between the rounds and, you know, female rider beating most of the male riders as you well. Got, you got the GOAT, Chris McCluggage, it could be yeah. anybody's race up here. We've been racing on saltwater, this is our first freshwater race of the season. Yeah, Mikey, you've organized races here years and years ago, so you know this area well. Fast and flat this morning on the fresh water, but will it pick up? Does it get choppy out there? What's it going to be like? Well, I'll tell you, very similar to what you're going to see in Florida with the surf. Uh, when the winds pick up uh, throughout the day, waves are going to pick up along with it. Make it a little more choppier for these guys. Well, it's going to be exciting, Mikey. Thanks ever so much. You'll be on the commentary. Oh, yeah. And don't go anywhere, because when we come back right after this, the green flag will drop, and we'll be going racing.
Welcome back to the shores of Lake Michigan for the 2019 P1 Acrocross Championship, where round three is about to get underway, and the race to the Bahamas is very much on. With the top of the table separated by just a few points, we are in for one hell of a shootout to see who can gain ground on series leader Brian Baldwin. The riders themselves are just out there on the course right now getting some orientation laps in, so let's take a look at that course that they'll be taking on. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Round number three here, the P1 Aquacross Race to the Bahamas. Let's take a look at today's course for round number three here in Michigan City. Long back straight away. We've got seven course markers, about a mile and a quarter in length. Let's go down as our racers are getting staged right now and ready for race number one here in Michigan City. Green flag getting ready to drop, and here we go. We are off and away here for round number three, ladies and gentlemen. Christian Daly, you're taking a look through the goggles of him. Right now to his right flank, just to his right right there, is the Eagle, Eric Francis. And another battle coming up right here between Daniel Wagner and Jason Russo. And Wagner going past Russo like he's standing still. Daniel Wagner again racing for Team Serbia as we look through the back camera here of boat number 911. And you can see just how close Christian Daly was to that course marker out there. It looked like he uh, almost got taken out by it, rubbed his shoulder up against it. And now we're taking a, lens, a look through the lenses once again of Christian Daly. Daniel Wagner once again battling it out right now. And this is uh, Daniel's best performance so far of 2019. Again, not only representing Team Serbia, but also representing the Watercraft Clinic with uh, Jason Lester, his manager. And you can see just uh, how hairy it is out there in turn number one, nothing but jet spray. As we go on board there with uh, Daniel Wagner, Wagner currently running in that third spot. We got Francis up in front, Daly in second. You can see conditions here, pretty mild in Michigan City. A good overhead shot of the track right there as we go once again to uh, Daniel Wagner who had his best start of 2019, trying to reel in the top two right now. Back at your leader right there, Eric Francis. Again, Eric coming from West Palm Beach, Florida, and he is sponsored by Broward Motorsports. Got a big team behind him as we take a look through the rear view camera here for uh, Francis. And Francis uh, taking a look over at our start finish line where he'll see the green flag and right now being chased down by the young gun Christian Daly out of Carmel, Indiana. Daly, another Broward Motorsports sponsored rider and doing very well this season. As we take a look at our top three again, Francis, Daly and Wagner. And a great uh, shot there of the beach here at Washington Park here in Michigan City. A lot of race fans coming out and uh, we are sure glad to have them. Back out to second place, Christian Daly. Daly uh, making it happen, captain out here. Again, uh, hitting his first podium in St. Pete Beach in round number two of our P1 Aquacross race to the Bahamas. And you can see a big battle going on uh, for sixth place back there. That was uh, Dennis Mack and Jason Russo, as well as Troy Snyder, all uh, dogging it out. Them three real tight. And you can see the difference here between third and fourth place. Wagner still in third, but you can see Baldwin closing hard as we are up at the top left-hand side of the track as we view it here from the tower. And look at Baldwin. Baldwin charging hard, probably shaved off about two seconds as they work their way through the sweeper. And Baldwin really closing on Wagner. Wagner has got to be feeling the heat right now. Again, this is uh, his best position so far this season. As uh, you can see Baldwin right there all over our good friend Daniel Wagner racing for Team Serbia, Shuki Velkalo, and uh, all of our friends over there in Belgrade. Wagner again feeling the heat, trying to keep that boat hooked up and hugging that buoy, trying not to let Baldwin around. Jumping to the other side of the track, we got the slugger Troy Snyder, Jason Russo, and the chicken man Jay Edworthy on the Jet X Sea-Doo right now, all dicing it out for that seventh place position. So a tough battle going on right there as we took a look once again at your race leader, getting ready to head down that front straightaway in front of these thousands of fans here at Washington Park today. Taking a look through the backside there of uh, Eric Francis's boat, Baldwin uh, on the move right now. And you can see the battle of Wagner and Baldwin uh, really going at it as they split the lapper. Baldwin uh, gonna work to the inside, Wagner to the outside. And you can see Baldwin staying a little bit more hooked up as they work their way down the front straightaway. And here is your battle for third place. Look at Baldwin working to the inside. Wagner right there, they're bond rail to bond rail as they go into that turn on the far west side of the track. And you can see Wagner trying to hug that buoy right there. Nothing doing, looking at Baldwin just slamming that door shut. 
great uh, move there by Brian Baldwin, able to get past Wagner. Now you still got uh, your race leader, Francis, is still up in front as we uh, go back on board with uh, Eric Francis. Francis again, uh, sponsored by Broward Motors. Oh, look at this. Daly with his hand in the air. He must have a mechanical issue, and there goes Baldwin by. So Brian Baldwin moves into second place. And the North Carolinian has got to be feeling pretty good right about now. He has worked his way through the pack, got a horrible start, but uh, now currently sits in second place. And uh, that's great news for Brian Baldwin, but that's bad news for the Eagle, Eric Francis, as he is slowly climbing his way back into the race. Francis still in front, Baldwin in second, and Wagner in third. So great overhead shot here as uh, we take a look down here at Lake Michigan. And this is your battle for fourth place right now. McCluggage on the outside of Tyler Hill out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And McCluggage all over Hill right now like a cheap suit, trying to take advantage of the younger Hill. It's uh, the old lion versus the young tiger right here. As uh, we take a look down again, McCluggage sponsored by Monster Energy, and he has got Hill in his gun sights. He's working left, he's working right, trying to go inside, outside, crossing over the wake. As we go back uh, to the other side of the track where Troy the Slugger Snyder, Juan Lescano, and boat number 221, Dave Davidson, all going at it. You got like five folks in the pack right there, but look, that is your battle for first place. 911, Francis. Uh, they've got those three lappers in front of them, and you can see Francis able to get by one. Here comes Baldwin working to the inside. Baldwin also able to get past that lapper right there, and Baldwin slowly but surely reeling in Francis. Uh-oh, trouble for Daniel Wagner. Looks like he's getting a toe in as uh, we go back on board with seventh place, Sophie Francis right now, boat number 191. She is a CrossFit maniac, uh, sponsored by Broward Motorsports down there in West Palm Beach as uh, the green flag flies here. Again, your battle for first place. Look at this, inside, outside for Baldwin. Ooh, Baldwin catches an edge, a somersault up over the top. And that was your battle for first place right there as Baldwin goes swimming. And we'll just take a look at this one more time in slow motion. And you can see just catches an edge of that rail and it just tosses him like a rag doll. Tough break there for Brian Baldwin, who was vying for that second place. But Baldwin back up on his boat in a hurry. And uh, McCluggage, was, McCluggage was able to get by. However, Baldwin still will maintain a top three position. And how about that? That just speaks volumes again of uh, Brian Baldwin as we get a great overhead shot here of this one and a quarter mile course uh, on Lake Michigan. A great day for racing out here. And Sophie Francis uh, having a pretty good day out here against the men as uh, you take a look out the, the back of her boat right there, currently sitting in that seventh place, also sponsored by Factory Yamaha. Sophie looking good out there against the men today. White flag comes out. We've got one more lap to go, and the Eagle, Eric Francis, is still in charge of this one. As you see, uh, boat number 77, Jason Russo, gone down out there. And don't look now, but McClugan just climbed his way back into this one. Uh, only one more turn to go here for Francis. But here comes McCluggage through the wake right there. And you can see just how close they are. And it's going to be a drag race uh, down to that finish line. Team Broward Motorsports coming in one and two. Francis raising his arms in the air in victory. Congratulations, Eric Francis. Let's take a look at our leaderboard and see how our top six did right here. It was Francis who took the win. McCluggage in second, Baldwin in third, Tyler Hill in fourth, Jay Edworthy in fifth, and Chris Saxon in sixth. Eric, first race, first win, you must be thrilled. Yeah, I mean, like we said earlier today, I mean, this is the way we want to start it. One race at a time, we're still fighting for the championship and can't ask for a better finish than that. I saw Baldwin getting close, and then one time he just wasn't there, and I guess everybody said he cartwheeled off, but, you know, everybody took their shot at me in that race. Daly tried to come at it, Mac tried, Baldwin, but they didn't have enough. So, Mac, first race done, it will come as no surprise to us watching from the sidelines that it was yourself, Brian Baldwin, and Eric Francis fighting it out at the front. Yeah, I had a pretty start, and then uh, probably three quarters of the way through it, uh, Baldwin went swimming, Daly went down. Once uh, Brian went down, you know, I was really focused on making my turns perfect, and uh, you know, caught Eric and was pretty much on his heels at the last turn, and it was uh, just a little bit too late. So, Brian, bit of an off for you there, a rare one, but quite a big one. Yeah, you know, I, if I'm going to get off, I guess this is the place to do it. You know, I was close to the ski, I was able to get back on fast. You know, it's, it's just an uh, unfortunate thing. You know, I, I probably should have just bided my time. Um, you know, I had some good speed, and I, you know, I, I think I could have had him. You know, 
pretty easily. Yeah, well, when that when that happened in the race, you were pushing so hard, and I guess if you're not pushing hard, then you're not trying hard enough. You know, guys always ask me how I go so fast, and I, you know, I just literally you have to be at crashing speed if you want to win, and unfortunately, I crashed. Well, we knew it. That first one of the weekend there, it was always going to be fast. It was always going to be full of action, and it didn't disappoint. The great news is, though, there are two more like that still to come, and we'll be back with those right after this. Welcome back to the beautiful shores of Lake Michigan, where we've already seen some amazing action in heat one of the Aquacross Championship, and that race to the Bahamas is very much on. But this weekend, it's not just about personal watercraft. Oh no, there's a whole load of much bigger boats gonna be fighting it out just out there. Lucas Oil have long had a history of success on the ocean, setting world records and winning numerous races and championships. And now they've moved into the world of personal watercraft by supporting the Lucas Oil Aquacross World Rankings. Now, this tracks riders' points around the globe to give us an overall world ranked number one. So, Brian, great to see you here. And you are the Lucas Oil World number one. What does that mean to you? You know, I'm super pumped to have this, you know, to have this number one. There's, there's a lot of guys that you know, that have been professionals for a long time that I've beat. And, uh, you know, to hold this number one is, you know, it's, it's the best in the world. And it's great to have the sponsorship of Lucas Oil putting their name to it as well. It just adds the credibility. Yeah, um, you know, having Lucas Oil on board for this, supporting this number one is, is probably the best thing that's that's happened to this series in, in some time. So super excited about that. And Nigel, Lucas Oil have been supporting you guys for a long, long time as well. And this boat wouldn't be what it is without their support. What does it mean to you? Well, you know, it's, it's really exciting because what Brian represents here is a part of a sport which is really the most inherent for a racer, right? You've got a, you've got a small machine and it's a man on it against each other and against the water. When it comes to skill, these guys, these guys uh, are right on it and, and it, that's the difference between being number one and the rest. Phenomenal. And tell us about uh, what's been going on with you, Nigel, as well, because you've been doing some pretty awesome things with this boat recently. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we just did uh, a world record it's, an, it's a reinvigoration of an old record from the 1960s from West Palm Beach to Bahamas. And so we're trying to get these old historic races back in the front of mind. Really the big one, which, is, which will be big for me, is the uh, 2017 world record, Guinness world record from Key West to Cuba. And so, you know, Lucas Oil has been an 18 year partner now. And, and also we get the benefit of their, their technology to make sure the boat hangs together. And Brian, as we stand here in front of this huge boat, very different to what you go racing on, but do you fancy a shot in that? Yeah, you know, the first thing I thought when I walked up was like, man, I, I want to go for a hill ride in that thing. That's a big jet ski, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here we go then, second one of the weekend in Michigan City in that first race. As predicted, it was Baldwin, it was McLuggage, it was Francis running at the front, but then there was a whole load of other riders who also had the speed. Let's see what happens for the second one as they head out to the start. Yeah, how you feeling, Mac? I feel good right now. I mean, hopefully we can uh, get a first this race. We we're close last race, but close doesn't count, right? Second one of the weekend. You feeling up for this? Yeah, definitely. We're ready to get out there and get started and get this 30 minutes going and get it over with. All right, best of luck. Thank you very much, Kevin. Tyler, second one of the weekend. You feeling up for this? Feeling great. You know, the boat's running amazing. We got the slight little mechanical fix, and I'm ready to go out there and uh, run with the guy, run with the top three again. All right, go for it. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Second one of the weekend. Uh, no issues after the off in the first one. You're feeling good? No aches and pains? Yeah, I feel super good. You know, just I'm ready to get out there and do this. You know you've got the speed. Like you said, you're on the limit. You're going to stay on it? Yes, sir. Well, we've heard from some of our top racers as we take a look through the lenses of Brian Baldwin. He's got Tyler Hill to his right, and he's got Francis over there to his left as we get ready to start race number two here in Michigan City. Green flag flies and... We're, again, taking a look through the lens of Brian Baldwin. He's got McCluggage right over there to his left, and that's Francis just beside McCluggage, taking a look out the backside here of uh, the boat of Eric Francis. And you can see it's just mayhem back there behind him as we've started this race with 30 different uh, boats out there. Look at Christian Daly. Daly with uh, one heck of a hole shot here as uh, we go back on board with Francis. And it looks like over to his left right now is Jason Russo on the Geico boat. 
But uh, don't look now. Here comes Brian Baldwin, and Baldwin just leaves that Geico boat like it's standing still. Brian Baldwin, once again, Factory Riva racer, now challenging Francis. And those two battled it out in race number one. We'll see if they have more of the same for us here in race number two. As we head down the straightaway, the shores here of Washington Park, you can see Baldwin right there. And uh, hot on his tail is Eric Francis. Francis and Baldwin both vying for the points championship in P1 Aquacross. Right now, the current world points leader is Brian Baldwin. Back on board with Eric Francis as you take a look out the rear side of uh, his Yamaha right there. And we got Daly out in front, Francis in second, Baldwin in third. And taking a look through the lenses right now of Christian Daly, boat number 105. And you can see things are clean and green for him and his Yamaha machine as he works his way down the front straightaway. Big flotilla of boats building up along the track and a great shot here as uh, we pan through the track. And there is boat number 911 currently sitting in that second place, but I'll tell you, he ain't got a comfort zone. Here comes Baldwin. Baldwin charging hard, trying to work to the inside of Francis. And you can see he's got a pole in the water trying to reel him in down that front straightaway, trying to keep that uh, Yamaha hooked up. You can see he's working on the inside, staying out of the pump wash, being uh, dispersed there by boat number 911 Francis. And you can see just how many boats are out there on the water this weekend. And here comes Baldwin once again, gonna try to work to the inside of Francis. As we take a look through the backside of Francis right there, you can see Baldwin just flying just to his right and uh, kind of riding right on the inside lip of uh, that wake that's being produced right now by Baldwin. Baldwin has to cross over the wake again, and he is all over Francis like a cheap suit right now as they work their way, a drag race down the front straight away. Again, Francis trying to pull away, and Baldwin staying right there with him. Baldwin, again, still gonna try to work to the inside and have position as they work their way to the east side of the track here as uh, we view it from the shores. Francis coming up to some lap traffic, and Baldwin now applying the pressure. Baldwin gonna try to work to the inside. We'll see if this uh, slows up Francis here with the lap traffic, and here comes Baldwin. Look at Baldwin accelerate down that back straightaway. Brian Baldwin has moved into second place, again, taking a third in that first race. Baldwin staying very consistent here, and he could be, again, our first uh, racer that uh, would have that locked in position in the Bahamas. Christian Daly back on board with Christian, and Christian getting past the Geico boat, putting uh, Russo a lap down. Your top three, still Christian Daly out in front. Brian Baldwin, boat number 502 in second, and Eric Francis, 911 in third. We've been asking about the GOAT. Well, here is the GOAT, Chris McCluggage, boat number 46, sponsored by Broward Motorsports, currently uh, battling out with Tyler Hill. And let's go over to Sophie Francis, one of the fastest women in personal watercraft racing, currently sitting sixth against the boys. As uh, we come down into the front straightaway, and there comes second place, Brian Baldwin. Third place still, Eric Francis, and Francis about four seconds off the pace being thrown down by Baldwin. Let's go back on board right now with Christian Daly, the 22-year-old Indiana native. I'm sure that he would love to bring a win home here in his home state. As you can see, he's getting past some more lap traffic. That was Tyler Hill that uh, just went a lap down on Daly. And again, we're looking at Daly, who is out in front, Baldwin in second, and Francis in third. A great shot of the entire course right there as we go back on board with Baldwin. And you can see Baldwin trying to chase Daly down here as we come to the latter stages of this one. And Daly right now holding his own against Baldwin as he gets ready to come down that uh, front straightaway. You can see just how close that uh, Baldwin is right now. Baldwin trying to reel him in and Daly goosing that throttle at every opportunity. And this is a battle against uh, the South Florida dealers too between Broward Motorsports and Riva Racing. Of course, Daly sponsored by Broward and Baldwin sponsored by Riva. And you can see Baldwin right there in the picture slowly trying to climb back into this one. Will he be able to do it or not? Right now, about a two and a half second gap between first and second place. Again, you can see uh, through the lens of Baldwin, your race leader, Christian Daly, not giving him any room whatsoever, just hugging him buoys as tight as he can. Another great overhead shot here of uh, beautiful Lake Michigan. Again, special thanks to L Linda Simmons and the Sports Commission here locally for rolling out that red carpet for us. Back on board here with Brian Baldwin. And uh, again, just about a lap and a half to go here before this one is in the books. And you can see, looks like Baldwin has almost uh, given up. Looks like he might settle for that second place position. 
Uh, he knows that he got a second in that first race. And again, he doesn't want to do anything stupid, doesn't want to get thrown off of his boat. Uh, a veteran-like move out there by uh, Brian Baldwin, again, showing his race prowess. And it looks like here comes the white flag. So one more lap to go for Christian Daly. Again, uh, Christian coming to us from Carmel, Indiana, trying to win one for the home team here in Michigan City at our P1 Aquacross Race to the Bahamas. And I'm sure Christian would like to get an invite to that Race to the Bahamas too. This is only his second year as a professional. He's already taken one win this year in St. Pete and right now looking to cruise to a second victory as he takes a look behind him and said, hey, Brian Baldwin gave me a little bit of breathing room. I think that I can put it in cruise control as he gets ready to come down the front straight away one final time here in Michigan City. Again, beautiful conditions greeted the racers this weekend. And Christian Daly looking for his second overall win here with P1 Aquacross. Again, you're watching race number two. Racing isn't finished. We've still got to one more to go as Daly putting another lapper in the books. And out comes the checkered flag and up go the arms for Christian Daly. Him and Broward Motorsports taking a win. Let's go to our results here and take a look at our top six racers. In first place, it was Christian Daly. Second place, Baldwin. Third place, Francis. In fourth place, Eric Legopoulos. Fifth place, Juan Lescano. In sixth place, Sophie Francis. So Christian, how about that? No mechanicals in that race and another win for you. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's just, it's so great when it all comes together. I mean, to get that taste of victory. I mean, it's just a moto, but a moto win is huge for me um, coming up as, a, um, as an underdog in the pro class. Yeah. And when you got the whole shot, did you suddenly start to think, oh, hang on, what's going on? I've got to hang on to this now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you get the whole shot, it's like, okay, now I got the whole shot. Let's settle in, you know, see where everyone is, set the pace, um, and then just go from there. So, Brian, another race and another 20 points in the bag. Not top step of the podium on that one, but still a good result. You know, that that moto, second was as good as the first. You know, the leader, uh, you know, he had a terrible first moto. So, uh, you know, that really puts us in position for the win. Um, if we can stay up there for the third moto. So we just gotta, you know, go over the ski, make sure everything's good, you know, cross our T's, dot our I's, and, uh, you know, just go out there and finish solid. Yeah, and uh, no points for Mac in that one as well. So on the overalls, you're uh, you're doing well out front at the moment. Yeah, you know, it it's, seems like this weekend's been a battle of attrition out there. You know, even though it's, it looks flat, it's, it's very deceiving. Uh, that moto was very rough. You know, I hope it picks up for tomorrow. All right, best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, we just we got a decent start in second, but I mean those, those rougher conditions just got the better of us. We did a couple tail slaps and uh, basically you know knocked myself out a little bit. So had to step back a little bit and just you know get the points we could. Well, well done. You hung on hung on in there, and then what's that? So 17 points keeps you in the hunt. It's good news, and a Mac not finishing that one. It's helped you. Yeah, but I never want to hear my teammate doing badly. You know, at the end of the day, I'd rather see one of my competitors break. You know, a teammate, you know, like Chris, I mean, he deserves to be up top. So he's got to be gutted, you know, getting a break like that. But that's racing. Two great races from number 502. Brian Baldwin has got him with his eyes firmly fixed on taking the overall win for the weekend come Sunday night. But how about that from Christian Daly? Number 105 gets the whole shot and gets another win under his belt. That young man has got the speed. Join us for day two and we come back right after this. Well, good morning from Michigan City, where we have woken up here on day two to a calm, peaceful scene on the banks of Lake Michigan. As you look out across the water right now, it is calm, it is smooth, it's glassy. We could be in for a very fast race once again. Two races yesterday didn't disappoint as far as the action was concerned. Eric Francis took the win in the first one, and Christian Daly took the win in the second one. Brian Baldwin was consistent with his point scoring across both, so he'll be looking to do well today to get himself on the podium. And Chris McLuggage will be looking to just reverse his form a little bit. Got himself a second place in the first race, but didn't finish in the second one so he'll be looking to do better today lots of action as well right back through the entire fleet and you can expect more of the same today they're all getting set and ready to go just across the way over there so let's go and join them Christian, good to see you this morning. Fast and flat again out there. You feeling good? Yeah, yeah, feeling good. Conditions look good. Um, I'm just looking for, you know, a solid repeat of yesterday. Yeah. 
And uh, obviously it all linked up for you perfectly in that second race yesterday. And uh, eyes on the whole shot again today? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. No, uh, yesterday really came together for me. Um, but my goal is today is just to do the same thing. Broke the hull yesterday and we're going to uh, pop on the GP1800 today. But uh, I tried to get on my GP1800 and, and go out yesterday, but we had an issue with the steering on it when I hopped on it. So they took care of that. Uh, unfortunately, the FX, which is my you know, go-to boat all the time. That broke yesterday, uh, the hull came apart. So we're forced to ride the GP1800, but uh, you know, hopefully I can give uh, Eric and Brian and uh, Christian a run for the money. And it's cool because now we have another player on, you know, that's on, on board now and he's, he's doing really well. He's won two motos and he's, he's definitely a threat to uh, all three of us. Morning, Sophie, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling much better. We had 11 hours sleep last night, so uh, I'm ready to go. What's your routine before the race this morning? A few stretches, three warm-ups? Yeah, eat good, a few stretches, a um, bit of a run-in, and yeah. Taking a look at the leaderboard after two races here in Michigan City. Up top with 42 points, Eric Francis, second place, 37 points for Brian Baldwin, and Christian Daly in third with 32 points. As we go out to the starting line, Racers being staged right now. This is the third and final race here of our P1 Aquacross race to the Bahamas. This is round number three. Here we go. A little perspective there from Eric Francis as we get ready to go green here in Michigan City. There we go. Green flag is out and we are off and away. 30 boats headed into one turn, 80 plus mile per hour and no brakes. Who is it going to be? Well, Let's take a look here from our Geico boat out there. That's Jason Russo. You're getting his perspective, and you can see coming up on his right, I believe that was Christian Daly. Daly looking for another hole shot here in race number three, and you can see he has got nothing but smooth water ahead of him as he heads into turn number one and over to turn number two. Daly with another hole shot there, sponsored by Broward Motorsports. Again, trying to keep that hardware here in his home state. You can see McCluggage right back there off to his left. Chris McCluggage, uh, his teammate with Broward Motorsports as you take a look through the lenses of Chris right there. And uh, that is Daly up in front of him. Again, Daly trying to hug that buoy. Chris able to sneak to the inside, not letting that boat wake affect him as they work their way down the front straightaway. And Troy, the slugger Snyder coming out in third place right now. But look out, he's got company. Looks like Chris Saxon. Saxon on some borrowed property this weekend, not on his normal boat. Boat number 90 moving up into that third spot. First two, you still got Christian Daly out in front, followed by McCluggage. But look out, here comes Saxon. And again, another great battle there. Boat number 502 and 110, the slugger going at it. That's your battle for fourth right now. And Brian Baldwin advances up into that fourth place position. Slugger slides back to fifth after a great start there on the Snyder built Yamaha. Francis now starting to push Snyder as well as they work their way around the cigarette buoy, top right hand side of the track. And again, that is uh, your battle uh, going on back there in the back of the pack. As we go back out to your race leader, Christian Daly. Daly again having a, a stellar weekend so far. Chris McCluggage right there in second place, trying not to let his teammate out of his gun sights. As you can see them working their way down the front straightaway here in front of this massive crowd at a Washington State Park. Christian Daly, boat number 105, currently in first place. Oh, and look at that. Looked like Christian caught an edge as we went to the helmet cam. And there goes McCluggage past him on one side. And here comes Saxon past him on the other side. And there goes Baldwin. So uh, down three spots already. It looks like he's going to lose a lot more. As you can see, the separation between he and his personal watercraft. Let's go uh, back on board and check out the replay. Yeah, it looks like he just catches an edge there. And you could see him cartwheeling up over the top. And uh, Mac going by. Let's take a look from McCluggage's perspective. You can see him coming around that turn, sees that uh, Daly is down, and I'm sure that uh, that is one happy rider right there as he moves up into first place. Marshall gonna come over and uh, assist Christian Daly. Daly who uh, jumps back on his boat and is working feverishly to get that Dean's team machine back in the race right here as he's had a stellar first two races. Christian Daly, once again, a tough break from the 22 year old Indiana native. And look at this battle right here. This is Saxon on boat number 90. 502 on the inside is your Lucas Oil points leader right now. That is Brian Baldwin. Baldwin uh, with a third in the first race, a second in the second race. He'll need a first place if he wants to take Francis off the top spot of that podium. Baldwin, oh, look at that, just glides right by Saxon, and Saxon gets caught up in the pump wash, and that's going to give Baldwin a little bit of breathing room as we go back on board with Chris McCluggage currently sitting in first place. No lap traffic up in front of him yet, nothing but smooth sailing there for the Mac attack as he works his way left to right down the front straightaway. 
And here comes Baldwin. Baldwin has advanced up into that second place position. Now with the pole in the water, he's gonna try to reel in your leader as they work to the east side of the track here at Michigan City. Baldwin, you can see McCluggage about a three second advantage right now as McCluggage works his way through the chicane and works his way up to the top right hand side of the track. McCluggage again, very hard to pass when he's up there in front. And this guy right here, he has got a pole in the water currently in the fourth place position. Eric Francis, Francis again trying to fight his way back into this one, was a winner in race number one and uh, still has an outside shot for a podium, as does this guy right here, 361, Sarasota native, the outlaw, Eric Legopoulos, sponsored by the Waterfront 2 Restaurant and Reba Racing. And there is McCluggage. McCluggage, your race leader with boat number 502, Brian Baldwin in tow. And this is shaping up to be one whale of a battle here for that first place position. As you see the green flag waving in the background, signifying to these racers that the course is clear. And uh, it is uh, a beautiful day for racing here in Michigan City as we go back on board with the Geico boat. And you can see uh, your race leaders working uh, to the right hand side of him. Jason uh, actually, I believe, a lap down right here as we take a look at this epic battle between McCluggage and our good friend Brian Baldwin. Now, there is a de dejected, unfortunate uh, Christian Daly. Daly coming off of his boat had, uh, he was poised for a podium spot here, but has dropped back way in the pack right now. And uh, we'll see if he can work his way up through the pack as he still has a little bit of time. And the slugger, Troy Snyder, who had one of his best starts of 2019, Back there, I believe in that seventh, eighth position right about now. And here is your battle for the lead. Look at this. And you can see McCluggage taking a look over at our flagman, hoping to see a white flag here anytime soon as he has got Baldwin all over his tail. And it is a battle, buoy to buoy here. And we'll see if McCluggage leaves the door open just a little bit. And you can see boat number 502 trying to sneak to the inside and find some clean water, Baldwin. Baldwin again out of Catawba, North Carolina, where he owns a motorcycle shop called Champion Power Sports. McCluggage trying to close that door again as they work their way down the front straightaway and not leaving any room, not any gap whatsoever as he makes the turn. Eric Francis still back there in the four spot, trying to uh, climb back into this one here. Again, had uh, not the greatest finish in the uh, second race, but won the first race as we go back on board with Brian Baldwin. And oh, look up at the top right hand side of the track. Christian Daly goes down. And the course marshal over there making sure that everybody gets around Daly. Meanwhile, the race really heating up right here. For first place, you see Baldwin and McCluggage going at it. And they're headed up toward that yellow flag area, top right hand side of the course. Course marshal gets them out just in time. McCluggage looks over and oh my, look at this. Brian Baldwin moves into the lead right now. And let's take a look at how that happened. You can see the perspective there from Christian Daly and Baldwin just going outside inside and able to sneak in front of that lapper right there. And he will take the lead as we are on the last lap. The white flag is out. One more to go. Wow, and really a tough break there for Chris McCluggage this late in the race. Brian Baldwin, again, poised to win a championship here. If his things stay as they are, he'll be tied with Eric Francis in points, but he'll have done better the last moto, and he takes the win. How about that? Brian Baldwin not only going to win the third race, but he is also going to take the overall for the weekend here at the Grand Prix of the Great Lakes. Let's take a look at how everybody fared. Baldwin took the top spot, Francis in second, Legopoulos in third, Chris McCluggage in fourth, Francis in fifth, and Tyler Hill in sixth. Here are your weekend results. Brian Baldwin, Eric Francis tied at 62. However, Baldwin will take the win because he did better the third race. Legopoulos took third, McCluggage took fourth, Francis in fifth, and Tyler Hill in sixth. Brian, consistent performance from you this weekend, and it was more than enough to take the top step of the podium. You must be thrilled. Super pumped. I couldn't be more happy. You know, uh, we've been super consistent all year, um, but haven't come home with a, a, a first overall for the weekend. St. Pete was like a win because we tied for first and no one gained any points on me, so that was that was pretty awesome. But to come up here and and uh, you know and put three motos together and win the last, it uh, it's it's super amazing. So Eric, huge congratulations! Another podium, and you're one step closer on that race to the Bahamas. Yeah, I mean it was a it was a good weekend. We uh, tied with Baldwin again, just like we did in St. Pete. I won the last moto in St. Pete, so I took the overall. He got me in this one, so. We're evenly matched, man. He's number one. I was number one, so it shows that, you know, we're two upper-class riders, man. 
Yeah, and a fantastic weekend here in Michigan City. Yeah, Mich Michigan City is beautiful, and uh, I hope we can't wait to come back next year. So, Eric, great to see you back on the podium, my friend. First one in 2019, but you're no stranger to that. Yeah, you know, uh, I always knew I'm one of the fastest guys out there, but uh, this weekend uh, we were able to prove that. So we're really happy. Uh, first uh, podium of the weekend against that stack field. Uh, we're really excited. We can't wait for the next one. And a great weekend here in Michigan City. This has been an awesome event. Oh, it's killer here. Um, great beach, great weather. It was uh, definitely a, a cool spot. Let's take a look at our standings in our P1 Aquacross race to the Bahamas. Brian Baldwin currently sits in first place with a 31-point lead over Eric Francis. McCluggage in third, Daly in fourth, Legopolis in fifth, and Dennis Mack rounds out your top six. So that's it. Our weekend in Michigan City has come to a close. Huge congratulations to Brian Baldwin taking the top step of the podium. Eric Francis there in second, and great to see the man himself, Mr. Eric Legopolis, back on the podium in third. From here, we go to Pensacola for the final one of the 2019 championship. Then after that, it's the world finals, and the race to the Bahamas is very much on and alive. And we will see you for all of that racing next time. From all of us here, though, Michigan City, see ya.